your favorite colors and your personality. Did you know that your favorite colors can define your personality? Colors are created by God to give life in this world and each color has its own meanings and it can be attached on a person who like a certain color so much. The colors you choose say a lot about your physical, mental, and emotional states. It reflects the way you operate in the world, your strengths and weaknesses, your vulnerabilities, your deepest needs and your challenges at that time in your life. Similarly, the colors you dislike say a lot about your weaknesses and vulnerabilities. Your most disliked color will relate to areas in your life that need to be given attention or past hurts that need to be healed. Think back to your childhood or any earlier time in your life where you may have developed a dislike of the color. There is always a connection. Here are some of your favorite colors and their positive and negative traits that can describe your personality. Black. The color black relates to the hidden, the secretive and the unknown, and as a result it creates an air of mystery. It keeps things bottled up inside, hidden from the world in color psychology this color gives protection from external emotional stress. It creates a barrier between itself and the outside world, providing comfort while protecting its emotions and feelings, and hiding its vulnerabilities, insecurities and lack of self-confidence. The positive traits of black include protection and comfort, as well as, strong, contained, formal, sophisticated, seductive, mysterious, endings and beginnings. With negative traits being aloof, depressing, pessimistic, secretive, and withholding. Blue? Blue is the most common favorite color, making it the most popular of all the colors. Blue is a popular color with both sexes, however it's often associated with masculinity and generally a more popular choice for men. In many works of fiction, blue is often represented as the color of good, opposing the color red. It's often used by the emergency services, in hospitals and doctor surgeries, perhaps to promote calm and trust. In Western tradition, wearing something blue for weddings represents love, modesty and something pure, often a blue piece of jewelry is worn. In Christianity blue is connected to virtue and that which is holy, the Virgin Mary is often depicted wearing a blue dress. Blue is also often associated with feeling down or depressed, feeling blue. In Korea and some other Asian and Middle Eastern countries, dark blue is associated with mourning. Blue is also seen as a color of good luck in Egypt. Positive traits of people of who loves blue are reserved, honest, trustworthy, love peace, intelligent, persistent and loyal. And the negative it's of people of who loves blue are icy, cold, and unfriendly. Brown. The color brown relates to quality in everything, a comfortable home, the best food and drink and loyal companionship. It is a color of physical comfort, simplicity and quality. From a negative perspective it can also give the impression of cheapness and stinginess in certain circumstances. In feng shui, a system of harmonizing your environment, each color correlates to a specific feng shui element. Brown represents either wood, if it's dark and rich, or earth if it's light. Though it has an energetic, nurturing quality, brown should be used sparingly in your decorating and be well balanced with other colors to avoid a lack of ambition and drive. The positive traits of people who loves of brown are down to earth, wholesome, practical, approachable, friendly, stable, structured, supportive, comforting, reliable, sensitive, warm, reassured, honest, sincere, quality. The negative traits of people who loves of brown are dull, boring, frugal, materialistic, lack of humor, lack of sophistication, predictable, cheap and stingy. Green? Green often symbolizes nature and the natural world. It is thought to represent tranquility. Other common associations with the color green are money, good luck, health, envy or jealousy, and environmental awareness. In some cases, green can represent physical illness, such as the phrase, turning green, indicates. From a meaning of color's perspective, green is also the color of growth, the color of spring, of renewal and rebirth. It renews and restores depleted energy. It is the sanctuary away from the stresses of modern living, restoring us back to a sense of well-being. 
This is why there is so much of this relaxing color on the earth, and why we need to keep it that way. The positive traits of people who loves green are peacemaker, self-reliance, reliability and dependability, being tactful, emotionally balanced and calm, nature lover and family oriented, practical and down to earth, sympathetic, compassionate and nurturing, generous, kind and loyal with a high moral sense, adaptable, encourages, social joining, of clubs and other groups, a need to belong. The negative traits of people who loves green are being possessive and materialistic, indifferent and overcautious, envious, selfish, greedy and miserly, devious with money, inconsiderate, inexperienced, a hypochondriac and a do-gooder. Orange Orange is a combination of red and yellow. Red is filled with energy and stimulation, and yellow is responsible for the happiness and cheerfulness. It is a more active color because it makes us react by gut feeling, and we feel at that particular moment. Orange brings spontaneity and a positive outlook on life and is a great color to use during tough economic times, keeping us motivated and helping us to look on the bright side of life. The positive traits of people who loves orange are sociable, optimistic, enthusiastic, cheerful, self-confident, independent, flamboyant, adventurous, the risk-taker, creative flair, warm-hearted. The negative traits of people who loves orange are superficial and insincere, dependent, overbearing, self-indulgent, the exhibitionist, pessimistic, inexpensive, and overly proud. Pink In color psychology, pink is a sign of hope. It is a positive color inspiring warm and comforting feelings, a sense that everything will be okay. Pink calms and reassures our emotional energies, alleviating feelings of anger, aggression, resentment, abandonment and neglect. Studies have confirmed that exposure to large amounts of pink can have a calming effect on the nerves and create physical weakness in people. Violent and aggressive prisoners have been successfully calmed by placing them in a pink room for a specified amount of time. Exposure for too long can have the opposite effect. The color pink in the Western world is obviously associated with the female gender and femininity. It's associated with love, nurturing, compassion and understanding. The positive traits of people who loves pink are romantic, compassionate and understanding, warmth, hopeful, calm, sweet, feminine and with intuitive energy. The negative traits of people who loves pink are being physically weak, over-emotional and over-cautious, having emotional neediness or unrealistic expectations, being naive, immature and girlish, lack of willpower and lack of self-worth. Purple Purple is often associated with mystery, magic, sorcerers, nobility and royalty. It has strong connections with power and leadership. Purple is also a very powerful and rich color which has associations with extravagance and wealth. Purple, violet are attractive colors and universally liked, however they are particularly favored by women and often associated with femininity and female traits. In some Asian countries purple is a color associated with mourning. In Japan, and during the time of the Roman Empire it was worn by the highest levels of class, authority and nobility. In ancient Chinese culture purple was associated with eternal life and divinity. In Italy and Brazil purple is associated with loss of life and mourning. The positive traits of people who loves purple are creative and inventive, psychic and intuitive, humanitarian, selfless and unlimited, and mysterious. The negative traits of people who loves purple are being impractical, pompous and arrogant, delusions of grandeur and the social climber. Red It is the color of sexuality, romance, and lust. Red is energizing, it can increase a person's heart rate. It is considered a color that, compared to the rest of the colors, provokes the strongest emotions. Red is considered powerful. The fastest and the most luxurious cars in the world are most often painted in red. People that are famous and important are usually given the red carpet treatment. Women that wear red are considered much more attractive and passionate than women that don't favor this shade. The positive traits of people who loves red are energetic attention-getting, assertive and confident, stimulating, exciting, powerful, passionate, stimulating and driven, courageous and strong, spontaneous and determined. The negative traits of people who loves red aggressive and domineering, overbearing, tiring, 
angry and quick-tempered, ruthless, fearful and intolerant, rebellious and obstinate, resentful, violent and brutal. White White is symbolic for, and is linked to cleanliness, purity and freshness. White is associated with the medical profession, doctors wear white coats which gives the impression of being clean and promoting health. White is also connected to openness and honesty. It is considered to represent perfection, as it is the purest and most complete color. It is the color that represents new begging and erases any trace of past actions. It is like a piece of white paper not being written yet. It leaves the mind open and free to whatever it might create in the way. The positive traits of people who loves white are outspoken, idealistic, simple, neat, self-sufficient, pristine and open-minded. The negative traits of people who loves white are fastidious, empty, isolated, cautious, plain, distant, unimaginative, critical and boring. Yellow Yellow is the brightest of all the colors, it's the brightest color that the human eye can see. When we see yellow we think of summer, sunshine, vacation, fun and generally pleasant thoughts. It's a happy color with many positive associations. Within the meaning of colors, yellow is the great communicator and loves to talk. Yellow is the color of the networker and the journalist, all working and communicating on a mental level. Yellow is the scientist, constantly analyzing, looking at both sides before making a decision, methodical and decisive. Yellow is the entertainer, the comic, the clown. Yellow helps with decision-making as it relates to clarity of thought and ideas, although it can often be impulsive. Yellow helps us focus, study and recall information, useful during exam time. In some Far East Asian countries yellow is connected to courage. In China it was the emperor's color, during the time of imperial China. In Egypt yellow is associated with the deceased. In Polynesia, yellow has connections to divinity, and is considered a sacred color. The positive traits of people who loves yellow are optimistic, cheerful, enthusiastic, fun, good-humored, confident, creative, challenging, and intelligent. The negative traits of people who loves yellow are being critical and judgmental, being overly analytical, being impatient and impulsive, being egotistical, have an inferiority complex, spiteful, coward, deceitful, non-emotional and lacking of compassion.